not in heaven or down the valleys, across the ocean, high up in the mountains. Hmm, where do I go? The basic question of life, where do I go to find myself? So Moses says to the Jewish people, it's not there in heaven, it's not across the sea, it's not high up in the mountains. So where is it? There's a famous story of somebody who lost his keys. He knew he lost them in the house, but the lighting was bad there, so he went outside where there's a nice bright street light and he was looking around. Somebody said, what are you doing? He says, I'm looking for my keys. And they're in the house. And the guy says, well, why are you looking here? Because the light is bright here. I can see better here. Many of us in life wind up looking in the wrong place, even when we know where the right place really is. So to know ourself starts, of course, the simple start is to know our DNA, our genealogy, where we came from. Secondly, to be aware of the great stories that have been told by our parents, our grandparents, and the stories we're going to tell our children to make that connection with past, present, and future. But probably what's most important in self-discovery is to be aware that we have that soul, that transcendent part that's deep inside of us, that, yearn, that yearns for something to connect with something higher, to connect, to know our soul. Now, you can't just do this by sort of thinking about it casually. It does require some consistency and discipline, some time perhaps in the morning and at night where one can meditate, one can pray, one can read words of scripture, and to connect, then you will find your true inner voice. I hear my voice in the morning hours, it calls me. That, that inner voice calls to each and every one of us. It's deep inside of us.